Thank you very much for the introduction. Um, yes, I'd like to show you a, a, a short um, aspect or a, a short view into the work and want to present you the uh, project, uh, which has the name, um, <laughs> I just checked if it's right, um, uh, Divia Austria. And uh, besides of the original data, I'd like to uh, present or explain the whole workflow of the digitization. And uh, I'd like to find an answer or sh um, if it's worth to generate a HTR model for a specific application or just using an already existing one. Um, so what is the DVR? The DVR is the um, Deutsche Wortatlas, the German, it's an atlas for uh, German Lexis, dialect Lexis. And uh, the basis of this atlas um, is uh, is an is a item, uh, item list of 188 single words and 12 sentences, but uh, we are mostly um, interested in the, sentence, uh, in the words. And uh, the survey method was an indirect one that uh, means that uh, the questionnaires were sent to the, um, to, the, um, to the teachers and to the students and were filled out by them. And um, it has a total survey, um, a, a, a total number of survey points of 50,000 in Germany and Austria and 3,700 in Austria itself. Uh, so this is quite uh, a big collection of, um, of speech, uh, of language data. So this is the result uh, of the former project uh, when it's in the, uh, on the bookshelf. It's a 22-volumed uh, um, atlas. And this is an example of such a map which is in, uh, in the atlas. There you can see the, the, the whole area. Um, it's from the beginning of the 20th century. And uh, what, is, uh, what the DVR makes so interesting for us as, uh, uh, as uh, linguists are, um, is, it is, as a few points, it is this uh, very dense um, network of location points. And the, the um, only 188, but the fixed uh, inventory of words or on concept which were asked, and uh, the short period of the, of the survey itself, and the other thing is that it maybe could help uh, us filling us the gap of the comprehensive uh, service in the east of Austria because there is a lack. Um, but if this atlas is already existing, um, let's uh, move on to the reasons why there is so why there is such uh, a project, a digitization project, uh, uh, worth to do. Um, there are some barriers of the DVR. For example, uh, it is only published as a as a printed atlas. Uh, which makes it uh, sometimes hard to investigate something. And um, it only contains maps with some uh, word types, which you can see here. Uh, it's not like, and it follows to the next point, uh, there are no transcriptions of the original material. But uh, the original material um, still exists uh, in the original uh, questionnaires, and they look like this. Um, this is... Uh, Yes, a four-sided uh, sheet, and um, this lies in the or is It's in the archive in the in the in in Marburg in, at the center of for the Deutscher Sprachatlas, German language atlas, and uh, this is the the area in the document with the single words. So let's come to the pilot study itself. Um, our project started in October the last, in the last year and ends in, the sept in September this year. And what we want to do is uh, to transfer the content of the questionnaires into a structured format. That means the word token and the uh, metadata. The, we want to georeference the data. Afterwards, we want to publish it uh, on, a, on a platform, on a corpus platform, and uh, put it onto a re repository. And uh, one thing is that we want to create a HTR model um, we are using Transcribus and a workflow for the whole digitization. As you remember, 50,000, that's maybe a bigger plan for one time. And we, uh, that means, um, this is the team uh, from the Austrian Center of Digital Humanities at the Austrian Academy of Sciences. But, and we have some cooperation partners. Um, it's the University of Vienna and uh, the Philips University in Marburg with their um, 
yes, they they support us by uh, with the scans uh, they they uh, sent to us. Um, what I want to show you now is uh, the digitization uh, workflow and the, gen uh, the generation of such an HTR model. Um, as I already mentioned, we are using Transcribus uh, for the digitization, uh, which is a platform from uh, the Reed Corp in, in Innsbruck in Austria. And uh, like many others, uh, they are, uh, you can recognize text with it, you can train models with it, you, um, there's a layout uh, recognition implemented and afterwards you have unfortunately to, uh, to, to correct it sometimes, but that's the, the goal that uh, you don't, uh, we don't want to do that too, too, oft, too often. Um, and uh, as there are many power, already many powerful HTR models, uh, there is the big question like, is it worth uh, generating an a, a HTR model for a specific application? And um, that's what I w want to have some thoughts of, some, uh, some uh, ideas, uh, give, you, give you some ideas of our project. So this is the normal, um, the standard workflow for the digitization, like you have an image, there's a, uh, you do the layout analysis, uh, you use the HTR, then you correct uh, the data and then you export it in the way you want. Um, but when it comes to the layout recognition, it's usually like that, that it's creating the, the default, um, the, the, the text regions by default, which looks like this, which is a proper solution uh, for um, continuous text, but an, a problem solution for well-structured text like, uh, uh, um, uh, um, yes, for example, a uh, uh, questionnaire which we have. And this can be solved like you that you, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see this, you uh, use a, a text region for every single um, word. So um, then, uh, then, the, then you, um, you have the, the content of it in the, uh, in the single regions from the beginning and not afterwards. And after running the, the baseline recognition, you normally have to adjust uh, these, these baselines as well, and then it comes to the actual um, text recognition by an HDR model. Um, we were using in the beginning this uh, HDR model, you can see it's a quite big one, and it's, uh, uh, there, is, uh, current, uh, there are some current models, uh, uh, current script models from the 17th and 18th century, and over three uh, million words which is a quite big amount and a, a, a character error rate of uh, about 5%. Then it comes to the correction and then you can export it. And uh, I was always interested um, how much time the individual steps need. So I've collected some um, figures to see um, how the, the, uh, every step needs in such a process. process. And this is the result of a case um, in um, this comes uh, from our um, assistants. And you can see most of the, 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 the time consuming step is the, the, the correction of the transcription. That means that it's worth to uh, save time in that step. Um, summarized, we can see that it's uh, about two thirds in um, needs time for the transcription. And uh, the other uh, one third is for the other two, two steps. So maybe it is worth to make an own HTR model, and that's what we did. Uh, we did this with a ground truth of only, I think it's not that much, uh, 75 of that sheets, and these are the figures of it. The number of words is not even 1% of this big model, um, and, and so the character error rate is still 10, so it's not that good, but I think for the, for the number it's okay. But if you remember, the other model um, has 3 million, so... I think it's okay, but these numbers don't say um, everything. For this reason, I was interested in the reliability of the model, um, DVR current, which we were um, generating, in comparison to that big one. And I tested it with a validation set, and as you can see, in the special application, the special mode is much more reliable than the big one, um, the other one. And um, if you remember, one third is, uh, is, is the transcription work. 
So I want to conclude with the next steps. Uh, what we want to do is to, uh, to digitize the remaining questionnaires. Um, I'd like to set up a pipeline. I'm still doing that, so it's not finished and I can't uh, show you uh, by pipeline and I adapting uh, something from a colleague. Um, then to integrate the, um, the data into a platform, for example, the lexical information system of uh, Austria or, any one other, we, uh, or another one to add the data into a repository and, uh, of course, uh, one time use the data for geostatistical uh, st um, analysis in comparison with current uh, surveys. So I'm done and thank you very much.